Tyrone Magnus is a console peasant who has said some really stupid shit. If this gets game of the year, it's going to be the George Floyd of gaming. But since he's recently spent pretty much all his time making videos making fun of The Last of Us 2, I can't spend my time making fun of him anymore. But then I saw this older video of his in my recommended called Story Does Not Matter and this is like referring to video games. Now I had actually seen this video before, I even used a clip of this video in my first video on Tyrone. It's obviously the, cl the clip of him acting fucking retarded. <laughs> And obviously a man with this am amount of talent for comedy deserves 1 million subscribers, no obviously. Now after I saw the video in my recommended and I decided to rewatch it, I thought to myself is it really worth to make a video about this old pretty irrelevant thing that Tyrone said this one time. But then I thought, you know, I'm bored, so fuck it. How many dumbasses? are going to comment before they watch the video. I want you guys to pay close attention to the comment section. No, you won't find any people like that in the comments because uh, you've banned them all. See, Tyrone really loves banning trolls and he says this a lot. What he means by trolls is anyone who disagrees with him. If they've watched the video or not, doesn't matter. If they bring up valid points or not, it doesn't matter. They disagreed with our lord and savior Tyro Magnus and they need to be destroyed. So, let me explain to you thoroughly what I mean by that title. Essentially, the story of a video game really doesn't matter. Why do I say that? I'm going to tell you why. And then I'm going to add a little caveat to this, to where it does matter. Where in time it does matter, and to who it does matter. Cool, we're already contradicting ourselves. Story doesn't matter, unless it does. Thanks, Tyrone. Th thank you. I totally understand. Because nothing's black and white. But I mean, generally, the story of a video game doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you why. For those of you that grew up when I did, you grew up at the beginning of video games. We've seen it all. I'm 42 years old. People still can't believe it. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, you definitely don't wear hats all the time in an attempt to cover up your fucking atrocious hairline. I've seen it all. Do you remember the arcade days, fellas? Before we had... Any home consoles? Do you remember? Who the fuck went in the arcade? Hey, what's the story? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to play this stuff. Hey, what's the story behind Galaga? Wait, Pac-Man, wait a minute. What's the story? <laughs> well, we're not going to not put my quarter in this till I know the story. <laughs> Who would play this without knowing the story, right? <laughs> First of all, the fact that you think that putting on a dumb voice and then making a stupid face is funny just proves that you're an old man. And secondly, yeah, I guess like 35 years ago there weren't a lot of games with stories. Most games either had a f no story at all like Pac-Man or a very simplistic story like Donkey Kong. But there were also games like Ghosts and Goblins and Contra and Dragon Slayer, which might not have had like the deepest stories except for maybe Dragon Slayer. But still stories that, you know, had more things going on than just get the girl. <laughs> Mario Brothers! Super Mario! No one gave a flying fuck. Even when you move up to days like Street Fighter, all you knew, it was a tournament game, okay? The story didn't matter. What was it about back in my early days, in the early days of gaming? It was about the gameplay and the graphics and the sound. Gameplay, graphics, and sound. But we were really about graphics back then. Very, very much about graphics back then. Graphics and gameplay were the most important. Sound wasn't shit back there because we didn't have start getting really good sound until around the Super Nintendo and Sega days. Super Nintendo, I mean, Nintendo is, you know, come on. I mean, the sounds are okay. We remember some of the jingles and the tunes, but they weren't that important. I'm confused. Like, with sound, does he mean, like, sound quality or, like, the music itself? Because, like, that... It's really fucking... Why can't this guy ever be clear about what the fuck he's talking about? As long as the gameplay was tight, 
Mario jumped when we needed him to jump, okay? And the graphics were understandable and legible. Who the hell was following the story? Now, when you did buy, start getting these home consoles, they would come a little, on the back of the game, you know, on the package, it would come with a little, little, you know, synopsis of what the game was about. Even in the instruction booklet, you would get a couple of pages of the story to set up behind it, you know what I mean? But no one, like, was like, oh, the story's so good. The story is so good. Oh, my God. No one was the last of us in it. No one was nowhere near that, okay? There are plenty of games from, like, the NES days with very good stories. It's just there aren't there weren't like as much as there are now, but you still have games like Mother, which is a fucking amazing game with a great story. He also keeps speaking for other people. Like no one cared about the story. Like just because you didn't care about the story doesn't mean no one cared about the story. Like I I'm willing to bet that there were quite a few people that cared about the story. When I think of when the story started to matter about video games was later. It was in, and, and it was only in stuff like, um, oh, let me take a step back. It was only in stuff like maybe like role-playing games, like role-playing games, or there were certain um, games where it was, uh, they were these like, they were, they kind of tried to make it like a movie. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's when stories started to come in. I don't know what they call it, like mystery games or mystery games, you know, stuff like that. That's when, that's where the story mattered. But for the most part in early gaming, um, from Atari, from arcade to Atari, to Nintendo, to even Super Nintendo for the most part, you didn't care that much about, you know, Genesis. You didn't care all that much. I, I'm honestly losing fucking brain cells just watching this shit. Are, are you gonna tell me that out of the almost 62 million people that bought an NES, none of them gave a shit about the story? I, I, I kind of, I kind of doubt that none of those people cared at all about stories in some of the games, especially in the RPGs. People definitely cared. I, 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 this video is so fucking retarded, okay? Unlike the other videos where I at least could, like, understand sort of what his argument was. I mean, it was fucking retarded what he was saying, but it was still an argument, you know? In this video, it's just, oh, story doesn't matter, unless it does, but it didn't when I was young, so it doesn't. But under certain circumstances back then, it did matter i i i <laughs> it's so fucking stupid and then he goes on i'm not even gonna show i don't give a shit anymore he goes on to say that nowadays story does matter but wouldn't but he also says but wouldn't be wouldn't it be cool if in a horror game like resident evil 4 there wasn't a story and you were just dropped into the game and no that's that's fucking stupid because everybody would be wondering why am i playing as this character why am i here why am i shooting zombies like people ask questions i i'm i'm 100 sure that there are horror games out there where you are just dropped in with no story whatsoever but it, it doesn't apply to every single horror game ever or to any game you can just go like oh if we remove the story the game would just be be just as good because no if you took like halo which is a very good game that doesn't need a story at all. If you remove the story, it would just be like, okay, why the fuck am I on this random ass planet shooting aliens, right? Like, it's still a good game, but you would just be questioning what the fuck's going on the entire time. And it's just not explained. I'm just gonna stop the video here. This, this guy has no point. He's so fucking stupid. He's making me honestly just want to fucking put my head through the screen and then jump out the window. <laughs> the fuck this guy, honestly.